who doesn't want faster tests, right? So I've got a bunch of Serenity BDD tests here, and I'm going to show you how to run them three times faster by adding simply three lines of extra code. It's a very simple trick, but you've got to know how to do it. So these tests are JUnit 5 tests. So you can see we're using extend with Serenity JUnit 5 extension. I've got about 20 of them. And if I run them right now, if I just run all of the tests here, we'll see. Let's just watch them run. See them running one after the other. They take a little time to execute. And there we go. They took 20, over 20 seconds, almost 21 seconds to run. So now what I'm going to do is harness the power of JUnit 5 to run all of these tests in parallel and get a lot more power out of our machine. Now your results will vary depending on how powerful your machine is, how many cores you have and so forth, but you're always going to get some benefit. So the first trick that you need to do is to add a file called JUnit platform dot properties to the top of your resource directory. So in your source test resources. And in here we're going to add some some properties. So the first one is JUnit. See IntelliJ is aware of these. Uh, we want JUnit Jupyter execution parallel exit we just fight the right one parallel enabled equals true and then we want JUnit Jupyter execution parallel config strategy and we'll set the config strategy to dynamic now what that means is that it will decide for itself how many threads how it wants to run based on the number of cores you have and then there's one final thing we need to do is to define the execution mode. So this is a thing called mode default, which will define how it runs its the classes and scenarios. So we're going to say we want everything to run concurrently. So enable the parallel execution with parallel enabled, set it to dynamic so that JUnit will decide how many threads it wants to run, and then concurrent, which means that both test classes and test methods will all run in parallel. Now let's run this again and see how long it takes now. You notice how all of the tests are kicking off in parallel. It's churning through them all and it's already finished. Now I didn't even have time to see how long that took. I'd estimate that as maybe six, seven seconds compared to 21. So they're well over three times as fast. So add three lines of code, get a three times improvement on your test performance. Give it a go.